afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. It's lunchtime, isn't it, Beans? Starting the vlog a little bit later today. So today is Friday. Aaron's been in at work all morning and he's still got to go in there in the afternoon. Uh, but he's on his lunch break, so Archie and I have come in to see him. We need to go to Officeworks to look at uh, printers and scanners and we might also go to Eckersley's Art Shop and buy all the arty things. Yeah. Beans is having his lunch. We're having some lunch too and we'll take you along you and do a little bit of a shop montage. Are they go yummy slow. strawberries? Go slow. <laughs> Arch, your hair's looking a little wild today. <laughs> Just a, a little bit. Do you need a haircut soon? Someone else needs a haircut. I cut Aaron's hair yesterday. It's looking less caveman-like. Yes, less <laughs> wild man. <laughs> But we're just sitting in the car because Daddy we tough. forgot to bring the pram that has the tray. Yeah, it's very yeah. wet there now. Archbean! Oh, what did you do? So this particular water bottle has a tendency, if this is pressed at all, the water just lets loose. And so he was it was dripping onto his seat. But there's this like channel. And it's dripped. And it's like gone down through the seat, down in here, and is now dripped all through. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Would you like more? More. Please? Key. Thanks, Archman. Key. Good you boy. You can have some chicken. 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 Yeah, good boy. So, yesterday I made a new recipe, didn't I, Beans? It was for zucchini and pear bread. And I. No, it's is it yummy? Please? Please, a bit more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, good boy. Or is he trying to teach you man. please? And it's so cute, he goes, plee, plee. Good boy, lads. <laughs> <laughs> We had success, so you might have saw a little woohoo! You might have heard a little uh, saw, not heard, uh, a little Officeworks montage. Uh, I bought some paper that I needed. I got some pens that I needed, and we got a printer. So I desperately wanted a printer that could scan A3 size because a lot of the times I want to scan my art journal for uh, prints for Patreon. Aaron's just changing our uh, Archie at the moment. Uh, if you can hear that in the background, but a lot of the time I want to scan my art journal and I can't fit it in my little A4 scanner and so that was the main The main thing that we wanted to achieve today uh, So got that done as you can see it's giant and it's behind me, but we're going to swap cars Aaron's going back to work now because Archie's car seat is soaking wet from his water bottle and now he is soaking wet from his water bottle and even if I, I've got spare pants which Aaron's about to put on him but if I put him back into the the car seat then he's gonna get wet again <laughs> and it's about a half hour 40 minute trip home uh, so yeah we're doing a bit of a car switch we did our little car switch through and Archie fell asleep two minutes from home as he usually likes to do uh, but I managed and Aaron's car was <laughs> almost on uh, the empty petrol light which was handy so I drove around for about 20 minutes and he had a little schnooze 
Um, but then when we got home, he was still tired. So I thought, mm, I'm going to risk putting him down again. And he stayed awake for half an hour talking to himself. And then he went to sleep. Yeah, mum win. Uh, and so that was really good. So he's still asleep. So I think I'm going to get started on the pantry, which I don't know if this vlog is combining with the last vlog or if it's a new one but I showed my pantry but I'll show it again because it's a bit of a disaster. So this is our pantry and it's super duper deep like it's as deep as a fridge we've never had a pantry like this before and it just has a lot of things a lot of things that need sorting they're roughly sorted like it's cereals baking and lollies cooking stuff and then like pasta, rice, breadcrumb and coffee tea, but needs organizing. So I bought a whole heap of these containers and I've already started filling a couple of them up, but I'm going to fill them up and make it a little bit easier to use. Oh, I'm sorry, Frida, did I disturb you? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You can go back to snuggling Poppet. Girls are here getting the last little bits of warmth for the day. And having a bit of a snuggle. He's a good girl. Poppet, I can't reach you. You're too far away. Oh, it, oh. <laughs> I just tried to pat Poppet, and Frida's just showering me with the kisses. Thanks, Frida. Does that mean you want Pat too? Alright, Mama's got to do some cleaning up while the little Archman's sleeping. He has been asleep for like half an hour, so I don't know what my chances are of this uh, succeeding. I reckon I'm going to fill up two containers and that's it. That's just my prediction. I'm also cooking some rice because I was hungry. And I felt like some brown rice. Uh, and I don't know what's for dinner. We might do experimental meal for dinner. We'll see how we go. It's the weekend! It's the weekend! Weekend, weekend, Archie. It's the weekend, it's the weekend, it's the weekend. Pump, pump it. it. Oh. Pump it, pump it, pump it. Pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it. Oh my goodness, it's one of your favourite things, Arch. Cheese, Say cheese, please. Good boy. Cheese, please. Cheese, please. <laughs> nom noms. Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> Mr. Moo. Mm -hmm. I think he dropped more cheese than you actually got into your mouth. He is actually having rice and veggies. Yes, we're just waiting for it to cool it, down. It's too this, hot. this is first dinner. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, so while Aaron and Archie have a little run in the hallway, I have typed out all of my labels. I'm just using my what's this called? It is a Dymo Letra tag, and I've just got a paper cartridge in there. Paper tag cartridge. And I've got all the stuff and I see the problem is I'm still dishwashing some of the larger containers but I know they're for the flowers. So I'm starting with the smaller stuff like polenta and the um, lentils and almond meal, um, hazelnut meal, things that are a bit smaller. But there is just something so satisfying about pouring out a container and it's just really fun. So I'm I'm lame and having fun. This is my wild Friday night at home. I bet you're all having more exciting Fridays than I am. Uh, but I'll fill you in on the progress once I've done a few. I'm having a ridiculous amount of fun right now and I'm not kidding. <laughs> uh, if you're a fellow organizer, I guess, like I am, let me know if you find organizing your pantry satisfying. <laughs> Oh, and I should add, if there's special instructions like this is how to cook the quinoa, I just cut it out of the packet and I've just slipped it in the box. And then on the front, if it's going to focus for me, there we go. Uh, I've got the label stuck on there and then I've just sticky taped on the expiry date on the front so that I can see them just looking in the cupboard. Uh, and the reason why I didn't type it is because A, it, it takes up a lot of tape and tape's expensive here. Uh, and B, it's already written for me so I can just stick it on. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. It's now Saturday. We're just following this along with yesterday's vlog. Uh, last night we just had to relax. I don't know if you can hear that, but Aaron and Archie are vacuuming the hallway together. And there's lots of loud banging noises, but Archie's laughing. So 
all must be okay. Uh, last night we just had a relaxing night, went to bed pretty early. Um, I was exhausted, I got a bit of a headache, so I was very glad to, to see the end of the week. Uh, I have finished putting everything in the containers for the pantry, must say. I'm quite excited. I still have it, the pantry is, still needs sorting, but the containers are done and they look awesome. I'm only probably one, maybe two containers short, so I can pick them up next time I go to the grocery shop, but I'll show you the containers, are you ready? <laughs> I'll give you a bit of a close up look at them. So here they are in all of their glory. Now when I went to the shops, they were half price, which is why I got them. I've been wanting to do this, Aaron and I have been moved out of home for eight years, I think, and I've been wanting to do this since then, but we couldn't afford so many containers all up. It cost about, I think it was about $160 for these containers, and there's a few more small ones too that I haven't used yet, uh, but they were half price, so things are pricey here in Australia. <laughs> Uh, I love these containers. I've been using them for ages. I use them for our food and Archie's food, uh, but they've got clips which are really easy to, to use and they I've never had any issues with things going stale in them. These containers were a bit of a, a bit of an experiment. So they're long, skinny ones and they didn't have enough containers on the shelf. So I just had to do what I could. And I bought those and I thought they'd be good for flowers because I could put them at the back of the shelf and have things stacked in front of them but still see what it is and they fit a bag of flour perfectly. Uh, I've got a couple of cereal ones here and then a lot of little ones. I've got all of my, I have so many things because I've been uh, experimenting with cooking lots of recipes for Archie and then the pastas. I need one more pasta one I think. Yes one more pasta one. Something that I did which was very silly you know how I said I use the paper labels? Yeah, don't use paper labels. A, you need to wash the containers and the paper's not going to work. That was silly of me. And B, they don't stick to the plastic. So what I've started doing is just putting, just for now, until I get some plastic tape, uh, I'm just putting a piece of sticky tape over the top of them and that will just keep them down for now. And then when I, I should be able to get to the shops in the next few weeks and get some actual plastic tape, which is annoying, but you know, you learn these things. <laughs> but there they are, and I'm going to put them in the pantry, and I'll show you the after. Hello. Have you been having fun with Dada? Oh, and he's out. He's on the loose. Ah! Where are you going? What can you destroy? Oh, craft supplies. Oh, dear. <laughs> and this is why we have the baby gate, because... Archie finds things like gesso. I, that's a very big bottle for a little baby. Daddy Ta. That's gesso. You don't ta. need gesso. Ta. Good that's boy. Good. Thank you. Where is Archie? Oh, there he goes. I just managed to actually get some vacuuming done and in Archie's room we have chest of drawers and then there's a chair which we usually feed him in the morning, feed him his morning bottle. He was standing on the chair and opening one of the drawers which has all these pants in like these little containers in it. He's just pulling one pant out and then putting it back in and then closing the drawer up and then opening the drawer, taking that pant out, putting it back in. So I just grabbed a whole bunch of the pants, put them on top and he just slowly grabbed each one, put them back in, closed it up, pulled it out, took one out because he, he would only take one out before he would then put it back in. So cute. Oh wow, too much. Can you play the drums, Arch? Play drums. Ooh. Oh, record oh, scratch. Yes, yeah, like spoon. spoon. So we forgot to show you what we actually got at Office Works yesterday. So we got a new printer. Yes. Not sponsored. It's going to be Bought awesome it. because it does A3 printing and scanning. Yes. Which Hectic. I'm very and about. it does borderless. And it's which a is drum. also cool. 
Uh, so <laughs> that should be good. And I'll also be able to actually print some larger sized photos for my scrapbooking. Mr. Magoo's yes. got all the energy today. So, Apologies quick for the all. interruption. Quick haul. Yeah. I got new photo paper. Nice. I was out of photo paper. I print my Patreon printables on my photo paper and I put them in my, my master file copy in there. <laughs> you can have that one. Yeah, do you want that one? Also got some ink for the printer. Yes, which... because uh, sneaky, sneaky, they always sneaky, come with like sneaky. the barest small amount of they ink. Do. And I thought, knowing me, it'll be printables time, and I yeah. want to paint, uh, I want to print all the Patreon stuff and run out of ink. Yeah. So it was only it was 180. I want to say for all of the colors, which is better what we've for what we've all been, of the colors and they're extra large as well. What we've been paying lately for the other one is a hundred dollars per cut or because it's a laser printer, yeah. so the tone is more expensive. So it costs four hundred dollars for ink usually, so one hundred and eighty is a better deal. <laughs> and I'm going to also have a look on Ink Depot, which is an awesome oh yeah, website. true to get like the refilled ones yeah. and the yeah, that's a good idea. I got oh god, that's heavy. Some all the paper uh, thick. Cardstock. This is what I actually print the printables on that I use. It's 200 G M. Good boy, Archbean. Put that paintbrush back. Good boy, tidying up. And then steal. Have them another all. one. Up. Oh. <laughs> Got some new Pilot G2 pens. Got some new white Uni Ball Signo broads. So I can finally throw out the ones that are just dying, that <laughs> just they just needed to go a long time ago. And Aaron got two new paces. Two and new paces and all of the leads. You, of the lead. you having fun over there, Mr. Brushmaster? Yeah, taking them out, sampling them, putting them back. Is that your plan? Is that the good one? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Got your drumsticks. One, two, three, hit it! <laughs> <laughs> hey Archie, what have you got? Is it a brush? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, usually you would use a brush to brush your hair, but that's a paintbrush. Someone has woken up from their nap, thanks for sleeping for a while, Don't so that. Oh. <laughs> what was that look, Archie? <laughs> Can you be a cutie? But, oh, be a cutie? cutie. <laughs> Who's a cutie? Be a cutie. No. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> but no, no, no. I have finished the pantry. And it's all, I know we have a lot of food, but that's because I buy things when they're on sale so that... <laughs> They're, if they're things that we use at least every week or two, uh, it's expensive to go grocery shopping. So it's nice to buy them when they're on special. So we've got cereals, oats, and snacks up the top so that I don't Daddy. reach for them too often. Daddy. Then down here, <laughs> I've got up the back, I've got the things that I don't really use very often. So like corn flour, icing sugar, all of those things and then we've got all the flowers along the side because it was too tricky at the back and I realized I use flower a lot so it's just easiest to have that at the front and then down here we have all the oils along one side and then uh, chicken vegetable stocks and like jars uh, sauces and then cans and cans and then all of the extra spices are down the bottom and then these are just snacks that I can reach for and then down the bottom here we have pastas at the back with breadcrumbs and rice uh, extra pastas that are in like sachets spare <coughs> condiments and then this is our coffee tea station what do you think beans he thinks he's stolen the spoon uh -oh. and put rice everywhere uh oh good trying Nums it up we thought, such a beautiful day, we've got rice for lunch, that we'd come outside because even though it's winter, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. 
and Arch Beans loves being outside. Is that your outside chair, is it? And he can see the bunnies. Oh, the bunnies have to stay inside though, Arch. Arch is having a second little nap, so I've cleaned up most of the kitchen, not over there, but most of the kitchen, and I'm trying to find something for dinner. We've got chicken mince, right, but we usually need like a red tomato sauce to cook the recipe we usually would cook, but I found these, spaghetti meatball tacos. Now just stay with me, peeps. I know it's a strange concept, but it's like... A lot of our favorite things in one place. We love taco shells, we love pasta, we love chicken mince, and we love cheese. So I'm going to give these a go and they will either work or be a complete disaster. Time will tell. Personally hoping, 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 personally hoping that they're delicious. It's a very strange concept for me to put things other than taco mince in a taco shell, but I guess it's like a a tortilla like you can put lots of different stuff in a tortilla so why not a taco shell let me know if you've ever done a recipe like this before or let me know a strange kind of mashup of two recipes that you've ever tried so this is like spaghetti and tacos which I would never think to put together I also bought a uh, bag of potatoes the other week, so I think I might add potato to the mix so we can have all the favourite foods and make a little uh, potato bake side dish. So Mr. Cranky Pants has just woken up and <laughs> it's, <Cranky> it's, <laughs> it's started to rain. You can't really see it, but... Lucky I got the stuff off the Very lucky! I'm really hoping that some of the rain gets out to the farmers. Yeah. Because at the moment... Oh, plea. Here we go. Plea. There's your dinner. Tomato, chicken and cheese. <laughs> Ta, can I have your dummy? Nama? Ta, thank you. So if you're not Australian, you might not know, but at the moment we're going through really, really bad droughts. Um, and I think all of New South Wales, which is our state, is now declared drought affected. Uh, and you can even just see in people's front yards grass is brown and it's not good and there's a lot of farmers struggling good boy <laughs> there's a lot of uh, farmers struggling at the moment and a lot of uh, animals also struggling out there too so there's been a lot of fundraising at the moment um, did you know that Fiverr for a farmer was um, created by a student no that's awesome yeah so there's been that's such a good there's idea there's been an initiative uh, I think that's what it would be called, like a fun yeah, charity fundraiser, yeah. where kids go to school dressed as a farmer and bring in $5 uh, for fundraising. And that is such a good idea. It's such a good idea, yeah. and it's just spread across the country, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that we can get some rain, because mm. we've named it badly. Because for those that don't know, Australia is huge, but it basically only rains on the coast. Yes. So all of the farmland... we've had a really dry land, winter. Yeah, because usually it rains a lot, mm. but not so much this year. Yeah, so if, if there's any farming families watching, yeah. thinking of you. Thinking of you, and donating where we can. Thinking too. Yes. Chicken. Chicken. Yummy, yummy. Num, num, num. Num, num, num. But yes, we're thinking of you and your families, yes. and we're praying for some rain. So I'm making a cheesy potato. We call it cheesy potato. It's a potato bake, and it's pretty easy. I just cut some potatoes really, really thin, very nice and thin. And I do the first layer, I do a tiny bit of cheese and salt and garlic powder. And then I'll probably do two more layers 
of just potato and a tiny bit of cheese, maybe a bit of parmesan. And then the top layer, I'll put more garlic powder, a little bit more salt and some paprika on top of the cheese. And that's going to be our side. All right, so there's the finished product. It just looks like a dish of cheese, but I promise there's potato in there too. Very fattening, but very delicious. <laughs> So the paprika on top I think really makes it. Uh, I'm going to cover that in our foil and put it in the oven for say, oh let's go 180, 200-ish degrees Celsius for about half an hour and then I'll poke it, see how it goes. We're very uh, lax in our recipe Actual, instructions, yeah, aren't we? Yeah. We cook it different we every play time. We by ear a lot. We do. And then yeah. this guy is having dessert. What have you got for dessert? We call a lot of things cake. This is uh, pear and banana bread, but Archie thinks it's cake. It's almost ready. So here are the balls. They look delicious. They smell amazing. I made them really small uh, so they could fit in the taco shells. We've got the cheesy potato. It's looking nice and crispy just the way I like it. We're cooking, we only had a fettuccine in the, ov in the oven, <laughs> in the pantry. We usually only have spaghetti or fettuccine. We rarely have both, so status bag, I'm using fettuccine. And I've got some uh, red tomatoey sauce in the oven for Aaron's bits, but it's looking pretty delish. And the taco shells are in the oven. Okay, it's Saturday night. It's a big night. It's a cheesy night. It's been a big week, but we're spoiling ourselves tonight. I don't think we're gonna be able to eat this all, but you know, it's there. So Aaron's got the proper one. He's got the marinara, um, it's called marinara sauce, but we just have red mm, tom tomato and bacon something or other sauce uh, mixed in. So I just mixed it with the meatballs and the spaghetti and some parmesan in the pot and we're ready to go. And we've got leftovers for tomorrow. So we'll let you know how this tastes. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> How amazing is this? Let's see what Aaron thinks of the concoction. Well, I've never thought of it. <laughs> How, Whoever thought of this How is good a is it? How good is it? It's so good. It's amazing. Mm. I wish if tacos was just more random food. <laughs> That's what I was asking before. Like what um, other random concoctions people have put together in food. Mm. But I would never have thought of putting spaghetti and meatballs. And I also said it's cheat night. It's a very cheesy, yeah, fatty night, it is but very we've been really good this week. We had a few stir fries mm. and we've had tofu yeah, lots of and, and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So tonight, all the mm. cheese. <laughs> we've started watching this new show on Netflix called um, "Is It Amazing Interiors?" Yes. yes. Well, amazing interiors. This isn't an amazing <laughs> interior. Not a great freeze frame, <laughs> but uh, it's really, really good if you like house shows. We're still eating dinner. It's very, very filling, but it's amazing. <laughs> and I've got the bunnies right at my feet. Oh, hey girls. Wishing they could join in with dinner, but sadly, Gluten Fairy is not allowed to have taco shells, but she wishes she could. Even though she's acting so cute, you still can't get any pops. 